and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Amy Kate, a young but passionate knitter and crocheter. If you're looking for me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Etsy, Ravelry, and Pinterest as the Graceful Tangle. On Ravelry and Etsy, you can find and purchase my knitting crochet patterns. And also on Ravelry, you can find the Graceful Tangle podcast group where you can join in on all of the fun chatter we have going on over there. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I would love it if you took a moment to subscribe to my channel. And then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can notify each and every time I upload a video. I also have a blog that will be linked in the description box below. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe over there so that you get a notification via email every time I publish a new post. So welcome back to another Throwback Thursday episode. I love bringing these episodes for you guys and I hope that you enjoy them. Um, this week's project is actually a hat. So this is the Scout Hat. This is a pattern by Alicia Plummer. I had the pleasure of testing this pattern for her, and I absolutely loved the process of making this, um, and the hat itself is just so squishy and wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about it. First off, the yarn that I used is um, Knit Picks. I love, no, that's Hobby Lobby. Knit Picks Bravo Worsted in the color Denim is what I used. Finally got that out. Um, and it's this gorgeous light blue color. Um, it I would definitely call it denim, but it's not like a, um, it's more of a pale denim. It's not denim as in dark denim jeans, but um, it's definitely a pale denim. I absolutely love this color. I think it's so cute with gray or even um, I'm wearing mustard pants and I think that that looks super cute too. So really love this color. Again, the pattern is by Alicia Plummer. It is a bottom-up hat, which is definitely the most common, I feel like. You can make a top-down hat, but personally, I prefer to make a bottom-up. Um, start with a rib, and then that goes into these gorgeous big cables, and then this mock cable right here. And then this is like kind of a half brioche kind of stitch, um, using some slip stitches. And yeah, that's the repeat. So I absolutely love making this because of because of the repeat. It made it simple and easy to follow. Um, and then the crown decreases, I absolutely love as well. I love doing the decreases of a hat, whether it's a ponytail hat or a full-on um, beanie. I absolutely love doing them because it brings the entire hat together. And if the pattern is if the pattern is designed in such a way that it has cables or ribbing, it usually kind of all goes in at the top in a special way so that the pattern is maintained. And I absolutely love the look of that. Um, I've actually seen some hat patterns that if they start from the from the top and work down, then the top will be very elaborate. Like I've seen some flower designs um, or some like swirl or something like that. I think it's just so cute. Um, but yeah. If I remember correctly, I think I used a size 7 needle. Um, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I made this quite a while ago. And yeah, I chose not to put a pom-pom on mine. However, looking back, I actually have some faux faux that would be super cute on here. So I might have to add a pom-pom in the future. Um, let me put it on so that you can really see what it looks like. So it is a little bit big for me. It's more of a um, kind of slouchy beanie not a fitted beanie which is cute too i personally don't think that i look the best in hats but i love knitting them so what are you gonna do and everybody needs a good winter hat right yeah i absolutely love this pattern um i would highly highly recommend it it will be linked in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself um but yeah i absolutely love this pattern i'm so grateful to have um to have had the opportunity to test knit for alicia i've actually done it quite a few times now um, well, I guess a couple of times, not quite a few. I've done it a couple of times. Um, but every, everything that I'm testing for her is just so well written. Her patterns are so easy to follow and it's just a joy the entire time. So I hope you go check out this pattern. Again, it will be linked in the description box below. I will also link the yarn that I used so that you can check that out as well if you would like. I hope that you enjoyed hearing all about this hat, and thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and then hit the notification bell so that you can notify each and every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Bye!